Hi, my name is Sergeant Joshua Elliott, Marine Combat Engineer Retired. For a quick introduction, I was hurt in Afghanistan on April 18, 2011. I was blown up by an improvised explosive device and lost both my legs and half of my left hand. This interview was done by a TV station in Grand Junction last year and tells my story very well. It was April 18, 2011. Marine Sergeant Josh Elliott was on a mission in Afghanistan when one wrong move nearly cost him his life. I kind of hopped down off the roof and started walking across and there was a 20 pound explosive device that had been hidden in the roof of that building and I stepped directly on it. An emergency helicopter responded, crews put Sergeant Elliott into medically induced coma, and it was what soon followed that changed his life forever. It was like a crushing darkness. It was, there was nothing, it was completely void. And I turned and I faced a light, and I realized that I was under the throne of God. And the, the words that came across weren't heard by my ears, but more felt, and those, it was simply, are you ready? Are you ready? I was not prepared whatsoever, and so when that came across, are you ready? I was just, no, no, I'm not ready at all, and I begged for my life, and uh, it was like that. Josh Elliott woke up in the hospital as a double amputee veteran, but he was thankful to be alive. That moment was when God gave me a second chance, when God gave me my life back and said, you know, you're mine now. After months of therapy, he was ready to try things he once loved, and snowboarding was at the top of that list, but it wasn't the same. I came off the hill about three days in a row, just in tears, just broken. That's when someone introduced him to mono skiing, and instantly Josh knew he had found a new passion. Mono skiing quickly became one of the biggest therapies for me, coming up on the mountain getting that sense of equalization. You know, I was able to ski as fast or faster than other skiers. Before long, he met a coach from the Aspen Valley Ski and Snowboard Club who left him with just a few words that made a lasting impression. And he simply said, you could be the best. And it sparked something in me that was so profound. I said, I could be the best. This is, maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. For the last two years, Josh Elliott has been working hard, going through countless hours of training. Now he knows that even though he won't be serving in the Marines, serving and representing the United States as a skier is well within reach. I could be the best, and that's why I'm trying to get to the 2018 Paralympics in uh, Poyang, Korea, and ski for the United States. I want to bring home the gold. That's what I want to do. One of my biggest passions in life has always been riding motorcycles. Since I Okay, My dad took me to Sturgis when I was 12 and bought me a Project Harley when I was in high school. I still remember the day that he brought that bike home. I was unable to see its potential through the dirt, hay, and baling wire holding together. It was this very 1949 45 cubic inch flathead Harley Davidson that I'm sitting on. It needed a lot of work, but as you can see, it's a cherry now. Speaking of cherries, after high school, I worked at McDonald's, and on Friday nights, we had Hot Rods and Harleys, sponsored by McDonald's and Cherry FM. Many times, I'd bring this bike to, to that very event, and it won award after award. After joining the Marine Corps, I bought a Sportster, which I drove all over Southern California. I even drove it all the way up the West Coast Highway 1 from Temecula, California to Yakima, Washington with my wife, my dad, and my Uncle Dean. After I was injured, still in the Marines, and back in California, I bought another Harley, my very own shovelhead. We worked really hard on adapting that one to work for me. 
We move the shift lever, added a centrifugal clutch, and some actuating wheels that help balance the bike at a stop. Some things worked, and some things didn't work so well. Right now, that project is waiting on finances to be converted into a trike. I am excited about riding again and want to thank you hugely for helping me out. A big thank you again to the Marine Motorcycle Club for all your support and brotherhood. Hopefully, I will see you down the road real soon. Simplify, my brothers.